Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lynn. And I am so sorry about the camera being so shaky. Um, however, I was holding it and chasing kids, so it wasn't exactly sturdy. But anyway, you can see we are getting rid of the couch. We gave it to a college student who needed one, and I hope he enjoys it. Um, but anyway, we are replacing our couch with two recliners. You'll get to see them in a minute. And uh, we're going to work on getting the living room set up. Um, but these chairs, oh my goodness, we fought so hard for these chairs. I'm not going to tell you the name of the company, but we went to, uh, on Labor Day, we went to this company and ordered two recliners. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we ordered two recliners for a nice Labor Day sale. And let me tell you, it was just a headache after headache after headache. So they told us, okay, well, you know, since the virus has been around, that it would take a while. And we're like, okay, that's fine. So they're like, we'll come out next week. We'll be there on a Thursday. Well, we never heard from them, and we waited. So we called. Um, about 4 o'clock and we were like hey you're supposed to bring our furniture today well, they said well we need you to fill out some paperwork we're like you could have called and told us this because we could have come up there and done it ahead of time so anyway we get the paperwork filled out uh, it was just something forgot to be signed or one part that needed to be needed a signature on it so they're like okay we will be there on Friday. And we're like, okay, that's great. So we waited around all day on Friday. No call, no show. So when it starts getting about 4, because they close at 5, the husband calls. And they're like, oh, well, we're sorry. We didn't put you down on our truck. The truck was full, so we, didn't, we forgot to put your name down. So we're like, okay, could you go ahead and set us up a date? And they're like, okay, we will be there next week on a Tuesday. So we waited and we waited and we called. And they're like, oh, well, uh, we see where you called to set up the date, but whoever took the phone call forgot to put you on there. So this has been like three weeks later, close to a month later that we were waiting. So anyway, um... We were like, okay, well, forget it. You know, this is just too inconvenient. We understand that things happen. The truck's full, whatever. But the husband took a day off work the last time waiting on y'all to come, and y'all didn't come. So we're just going to cancel our order and go someplace else. And the guy said, no, no, we'll bring it out. And he goes, no, I don't want it, you know. If y'all would have just told us there was a problem, that's fine. We understand things happen. You know, we're not trying to be Karens or rude or anything like that. But y'all have given us three different dates. Well, so he cancels the order. Well, guess what? The next day, they're like, they call and like, um, your order will be there on Friday. I'm like, no, thank you. So the husband calls back and tells them that we have already went somewhere and ordered two more recliners. Sorry the story so long, but it's just so aggravating what we had to go through to get these chairs. So anyway, he called, uh, the, called the guy back and said, Look, we just got a message saying that the chairs are going to be here in two days. Well, we're not. We had already called and counseled. The guy's like, Well, what if we take $100 off the chair? And he said, No. You know, we've been through this. If you were to give us a chair free, we still don't want it. You know, I've taken more than a day off work for this. Y'all have told us three different dates. You know, you could have called us ahead of time instead of us waiting around all day for y'all to come. So we actually went to a store near where we live called Farmer's. Uh, farmer's Furniture. I don't know if anybody's heard of it. I'm sure some of you have. So we went in there. They gave us a great deal on two recliners, and it was at the house in less than a week. And it just 
was a better deal. It come off uh, lower payments and a lower price. And so it just worked out for us, and we're so thankful to have them. Again, we would have stuck with the first company. However, they just kept giving us the runaround and giving us lies. And then they're like, well, we'll guarantee uh, that your stuff will be there and on the next load. And like, well, you've been guaranteed it three different times, so we're done. You know, we wasn't trying to be rude. It just been a month and we were tired of waiting. So anyway, we finally got them and this is them putting it together. And Jacob put the cat down and it looks like he was rough. He wasn't. He's so gentle with the cats. It's just sped up. So it looks like he kind of slammed him down on the ground. But anyway, that's our story of how it took us a month to get our new chairs but they're beautiful, and I'm glad we got these because I think I like these chairs more than I like the other ones to begin with. So we're blessed and we're thankful. And, you know, it, again, it was a lower payment. So it all worked out perfect, and it gave us time to find somebody to give our old furniture to. Like I said, it was a guy in college, and he really needed them, and I was glad to give them to him. So anyway, let me quit talking. My story's been dragged out long enough. So this is us putting our chairs together. Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute. I'm high on slow dancing with you. One, two, three, keep it going, last forever. All blacked out, then flying with you. My mind's gone insane and my heart will burst into flames Okay, this is a few hours later after the kids went home. Uh, these are the two uh, rugs that I've been tripping over for the last two or three weeks in the living room. Um, and we are putting them down and I, we got some double-sided tape so they wouldn't slip as much. So that's what we're doing is putting the double-sided tape on it and... Then we're going to set everything up and get them straightened out. No, I don't care about the heartache and pain. Just don't let the memories fade. We know we are lost in love with the lust. But hard drums the mind so we'll win anyway. Yeah, we own the sun. Naive while the drunk. Oh, cause it's all up, 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 up.
Okay, guys, so I got everything cleaned up. I'm probably still going to move some stuff around. Uh, but yes, we got rid of our big old couch and got us two recliners. Downsizing. I really love it. It's so cute. Now, don't mind my blinds. I'm going to go this weekend and replace them. I need some longer ones. So, anyway, it is what it is. Um, but it looks so cute. I just love it. I think it's got that perfect grandma, grandpa look. That's kind of what I was going for. But I was also going for short, uh, not short, um, smaller looking, downsizing, I guess. Anyway, I was going for that downsized look. Um, the couch was great when everybody was here. It's just the three of us now, and Jacob doesn't ever come in here. He pretty much stays in his room all the time, being a teenager playing Xbox and PlayStation. I think that's what they're called. Anyway, so I really love how everything looks. Uh, I can't wait to get this edited and upload it so y'all can see it. It's so cute. It was a hard time getting but I'll voice in the story behind all that while we're putting it together it was just a pain in the butt anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I hope you got some motivation let me know if you like all of our new little furniture and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get notifications when I upload thank you so much for watching and God bless